I need to buy a used car. Any ideas? I'm 28, just got steady employment making 43k a year. Not having a car is a hindrance to picking up my son and doing anything on my time off. I have absolutely zero knowledge about buying a car and would like some guidance. Zero credit, which I'm working on right now. What price range should I be looking at? And brands. So this is like the general rule for like owning cars or basically anything owning anything with like wheels on it that goes down in value. You don't want to be spending or buying something that is worth half of your yearly income. So what? 43, hold on, let me do this. So $43,000 divided by two would be 21,500, meaning you should not get anything higher than that because you simply can't afford it in terms of like you'll just be car poor at that point. That being said, just because you technically could pay for this doesn't mean that you should, right? You shouldn't be going for like a 50% of your income car, right? Now, since this is basically like you just kind of like picking up your son and doing anything on your time off, I would get something that is mainly just for like point A to point B, but also you could probably get something fun that could go point A to point B for pretty cheap, right? You could probably get like a Mazda Miata, which is super cheap, pretty good on gas, pretty fun if you're just picking up your son and whatnot. So that's like maybe in the $5,000 like price range. Now, obviously, you got to get it checked out by like a mechanic or whatever, because some people like to do stuff to those Miatas. But for like a small car that's probably easy to park, that's kind of fun because you could go fast in a slow car. Not a bad option, right? That's probably what I would do in this scenario. Or probably get like something like a really cheap Honda Civic or a Honda Accord or like a pre-owned, um, like a pre-owned Nissan or something, like a Nissan Altima or something. Like there's a lot of cars out there. It's just like instead of the $21,500 price point, which is half of the yearly income, I'd probably be more looking for like 10000 and under because you're just like going from point A to point B and just picking up your kid. You don't really need to use it for that much, right? Now that being said, I would save up to buy that car. I wouldn't go into debt to buy that car. So whatever amount of money that you could save up in a pretty quick fashion, that's what I would use to spend to buy this car. Because the biggest issue is that this person is not making like a crazy amount of money, meaning that any time that they increase their monthly expenses, it's going to be harsher on them. Right, it's going to be like a compounding issue on them, right? If they have like, if they start basically having like a minimum credit card balance, that starts making their lifestyle strained, right? If they start having like a higher rent payment or a mortgage payment, that makes their lifestyle strained. If they start having a higher car payment or a car payment, that makes their lifestyle lifestyle strained, right? My point of view is just basically try to free up the cash flow that comes in every single month by basically getting rid of all of your debt because then that just allows you to have way more options available to you and makes things a lot less stressed. Let's see. This person says, get something reliable, Toyota, Honda, the newest and least miles that you can afford with your salary probably under 11 k Basically what I was thinking. Let's see. Person says, thank you. I second the Toyota. We have several that are pretty old and hold up. We are currently looking for a truck right now and prices are absurd. So make sure you do some research and can afford it. I mean, truck prices are always going to be insane. With zero credit, you're looking at a higher interest rate unless you have cash to buy it outright, which basically for everyone, I highly recommend people... <laughs> buying their cars in cash, it's just going to go down in value. That's the reality. For like 99% of car buyers, your car is going to go down in value. 
If you're not a car person, Honda or Toyota, whatever model fits your budget and body style. Subaru Impressors are great if you live in an area that gets snow and should fit your budget by Japanese, not American, and definitely not German. Yeah, I kind of like agree with basically all these opinions. And like, what people need to understand is like the average car payment today, and I think in America, is like close to $800 a month. Not including insurance. Like, that is another factor that people got to think about. You're not just paying for the car. You also got to pay for the car insurance. Then you also got to pay for, like, the maintenance. Then you also got to pay for the gas if it's not, like, an electric car, right? So the expense of the car is not just the car itself, right? So you might be thinking, oh, within my budget, I could spend 500 bucks a month on the car, and you don't really think too much about it. And then you realize, like, wait a minute, you might have already signed on the dollar line and you can't get out of it. Yeah, you bought, like, a car with, like, a car payment of, like, 450 but now you got, like, a car insurance payment of, like, 200 Then you also got gas, which might be, like, 200 bucks a month or more. Then you got just general maintenance, which could, like, average to be about, like, 50 to to 100 bucks a month. So now you're, like, negative a couple hundred dollars a month. Right, just buying the car that you thought you could afford. So people really need to be very careful when it comes to buying a car, right? Because the way you got to look at it, there are two massive, major financial expenses in terms of like what you purchase in your life, right? The biggest one is a home or slash condo, right? Your place of residence. The other is a car. And there's actually a lot of people where the car is actually their basic, biggest expense because they might not be able to go buy a home because they just can't manage their money, right? So you got to be very careful because depending on the car that you buy can really determine basically the path that your life takes financially speaking, right? Because do you want to be buying a car where you spend the next like seven years trying to pay off that car that's going down in value that whole time, right? To the point where after the seven years, you might still have like a negative net worth instead of you saving up cash for a car that you you can afford, right? That is reliable so that after seven years, you have a positive net worth and can pretty much go and buy probably whatever you want to buy and still have a positive net worth after that. Like, people just have to be super careful when they buy these high ticket products on debt, right? And even without debt, you gotta be very careful. But so many people buy brand new cars because they're like looking at the prices of these pre-owned cars that are like only like a year old or two year old like oh the prices of these cars are so close they're like only like three grand four grand away from each other i might as well buy a brand new car there's no sense into buying the pre-owned car but people are just now realizing like hey you can find like a 10 year old car that is super reliable may have some miles but runs perfectly fine might actually look better depending on the make and model than your brand new car that you would have bought. Like, it's just something something to really think about. And sometimes people don't even really need a car to begin with. This person only needs basically a point A to point B and pick up their kid. Basically just get like a 5K car, 6K car that just runs, <laughs> that you don't really care about if it gets dinged or whatever, right? So you could go like on like adventures with your kid or something like that. Have some fun with your kid and not worry about, oh, how can I afford my bills this month because I spent too much on a car? Like I've seen plenty of people like spend like over a grand per month on their car, not including car insurance. Like that is a huge amount of money to be spending on a car, just to think about that a huge amount of money.